Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing Q2 of the weekly contest 304, maximum number of groups entering a competition. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, it's free. Let me know what you think about this problem. This one, I actually took a long time about, and to be honest, I didn't know how to solve it for a bit. Um, as you can see on the screen, 3,000 people got it, so I guess it wasn't that hard. But for me, for Q2, it was kind of tricky, not gonna lie. I was thinking about some kind of um, I, I don't know why, but when I was thinking about a greedy solution, I was thinking about it the other way. But as soon as I saw a different greedy solution, I was like, oh, uh, it should be good. And the idea here is just greedy, like I said, right? So what is the minimum number? What is the minimum sum? That, yeah, that's the way I would do it. Is that what's the minimum sum and what's the minimum total number of students that you have for each group? And that's the, the, the core of this problem. And the way that you get there is by sorting. For example... I mean, and one thing I would say is that these examples are always trying to trick you. So, you know, uh, I mean, they're technically correct, like a Yivo genie. So, but but they won't give you, you know, um, some nuances. But yeah. Um, but yeah, um, the idea here, and, and like I said, you could do what they do. But another way of doing it is greedy. And the, the way that you do it is just for each group put the smallest sum and the fewest people. So that's going to be three, and then next, five and six. And then after that, uh, what is that? Three, five, six, seven, ten, twelve. That's basically the idea. And you, and, if you, and you can kind of keep on building this up, but that's generally the idea. And then if you're, you know, you can notice the pattern, then it is just try to figure out the number that is uh, roughly square root of it. Um, it basically the way is that given an element, there is some x times x minus one over two, and that's the number of elements in this pyramid. You can you know do your math. Um, is so that's basically the formula is that you're trying to find the the biggest x for which this is true. I did it with a for loop to be honest, but you could do it with binary search as well. Uh, for ten, for the biggest number is you go to ten, or n is you go ten to the fifth. I guess it doesn't really matter though. I hopefully mine doesn't time out afterwards. But uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, so I just find the biggest one after that. Uh, otherwise, I return for with a for loop. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. It is very tricky to think about because of the greediness and just um, even though this. Like, cause the way that I was thinking about it anyway, and I was maybe outsmarting myself, is that I was trying to think about like, okay, maybe there's a, maybe there's a DP problem, a solution, maybe there's some weird thing because anytime you have choice or whatever, um, it becomes tricky. And I thought about greedy, and I don't know why I thought about it this other way, but I was thought, thinking about sorting and then sorting it from the biggest number down, like using one, um, using one biggest number and then two biggest number, etc. And I was like, that doesn't work. Um, and I, I looked ahead a little bit, as you can see in the video, for Q3, and then I jumped to this one, and I was like, oh, actually, um, if we just, because, and you see me do this while I'm coding it live, I, I was going to write something like grades that sort, and then as soon as I sorted, it, I was going to pause it, I was like, oh, actually, we don't even, the, the scores don't even matter because they're positive, as long as there's a one, then it's going to be strictly greater than, and you can kind of prove this to yourself um, after you sort it and so forth. Um, just by like one, two, three, and induction or something like that. Um, or just, they're all ones, and then you could do it by induction. I think that's how you would prove it. Um, this one is going to be square root of n, but you can do better. Like I said, you could find every search. You could, and it's like, it's just a formula, right? So we have this formula. You could probably solve whatever you want. You know, that's da, 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 da. And then you could, yeah, solve for it, you know, or whatever. Um, the many ways you could tell for it. the way that I did it was for a for loop, which is maybe a little bit embarrassing, but yeah. Uh, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me sub live in the contest now. Say what?
little sound. Hmm. We'll go back to it. Of CIA or something. Oh, there might be psychos. Hmm. That's hard. I don't know this one either, but people got it. Let me try this one. We have a strategy. That's not going away either. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I of this. That's weird. It can be at most and the square root of this roughly. But can we do a binary search? A lot of people got this, but I don't. Unless I'm misunderstanding it. Um, It's not good. Four two is twelve over two hours. Oh it's kind of a harder one than Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Uh, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.